Boss Baby, directed by Tom McGrath, who also directed the Madagascar movies, brings us this animated movie about a suit-wearing, briefcase-carrying baby. And he pairs up, uh, this baby pairs up with his seven-year-old brother, Tim, to stop the CEO of Puppy Co., a, a company that specialises in selling puppies, I, I guess. And um, so... The company's about to launch a brand new, out-of-this-world puppy that's going to grab the attention and love of everyone in the world. And puppies, of course, are taking away all the love from the babies. So it's Boss Baby's job to investigate this new breed of puppy and stop it. The story also explores how a new baby's arrival impacts a family. And this is told from the point of view of the narrator, who happens to be the wildly imaginative uh, seven-year-old brother named Tim, uh, Boss Baby's older brother. Now, from watching the trailers for this, it didn't particularly look great. I wasn't really excited to go and see it. <laughs> In a way, I didn't particularly want to go and see it. I've seen it because I want to give you guys, my viewers on YouTube, uh, my views and opinions of this movie. Um, I pretty much dragged myself to see this film. But I feel like, you know, if I'm going to do movie reviews, I really need to see a broad uh, range of movies and all different types of movies, really. Um, can't, so, yeah, I dragged myself to see it yesterday. And um, it wasn't quite as bad as I was expecting this to be. And it was actually, I can say at some degree... I enjoyed it a little, little tiny bit, maybe. Uh, so let's start with the animation. It was okay, but really nothing special. There was some, there were some really nice textures in places, uh, but overall the animation for me was just a little simple and nothing really special. But it was okay. It was nice to look at. So the older brother, Tim, who tells this story really through his point of view, um, he has this very active imagination and there are these moments in the film where he will or he would imagine these fun and exciting scenes in which he would be immersed in. And this was also told through a different style of animation. So when you have these imagination scenes, they were, they were told through a different sort of style, more of like a 2D style of animation which I kind of liked. Um, I really liked those sequences. They were very imaginative and creative and I really liked that they used a different style of animation for those moments. But because of the nature of the movie, the story, I mean you've got a baby from the heavens you could say that's sent down to stop the ever-growing love of puppies and for the babies to be the you know the most loved thing on the planet. Well you've got some really sort of wacky and out there sequences and imaginative sequences anyway and some that are actually quite fun uh, for example this one scene here in the backyard that's in the trailers uh, with the cop car and that chase you got and you've got all these sort of explosions going off and stuff um, there was quite a fun scene and but it's all told through the standard animation uh, not the you know not the style of animation that's used for the um, well, for the imaginative sequences. So, for me, it got a little bit blurry as to what is actually real and what is not. As in, are events, you know, it had me thinking, are events really happening or is it actually just all imagination, maybe? And then I thought, well, maybe am I just looking too much into this? I mean, this was a movie aimed towards a much younger audience for kids. And I found myself overthinking things during this movie which I thought I shouldn't really be doing. So yeah I think I feel this movie was a little too complicated or complex for the younger audience that it's mainly aimed towards. Uh, you know the movie for me starts off promising uh, with a story about growing up as a child you know you're the only child and all of a sudden you're being pushed aside when the new baby brother or sister comes along you know feeling second best and all of that and I thought you know that it could make for a really sort of powerful um, message within the film. But the movie really sort, sort of loses that more towards the second and the third act and becomes, well, just a little too complicated for its own good. Like, overall, the premise was very 
thin and really lacked any emotional punch which it tries to create but it does fail. And I'm going to admit, this movie did make me chuckle in a few places. There was some okay humour in this. And, and it took me off guard in some moments because I'd be sitting there and then all of a sudden you'd have this joke or this gag or whatever and I'd hear it. And then I'd, it would be like a delay laugh from myself. But it was because I didn't expect it and it was like, and it had, it had pockets of moments of where it, it where it would make me generally chuckle and there were also some adult humor in this movie as well I felt so you know this is a movie not just for kids but for adults as well and I but I do think kids will really enjoy this movie for the silly moments with the babies you know hitting each other going ga ga goo goo and all of that and I think adults will find something to like about the movie as well but you were going to find yourself for some strange reason overthinking it which you sh I don't think with this type of movie you really should have to. Um, but it, it also has a certain charm to it. And this is how, you know, what I mean by that is how the movie really sort of starts off and where you really think it's going to build upon, which is this relationship between the, the older brother and the, his new younger baby brother and all of that. And I really sort of wanted it to go deeper with that and explore that more. But it sort of gets... You know, overall, it really lacked a strong story or message, and it really lost that sort of grip, uh, that kind of hook that it, that it starts off with. It loses that towards the end. Uh, the voice talent was pretty good all round. Alec Baldwin, I thought, being the standout as Baby Boss, I thought he did a really good job in this. And this was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I just found the story to lack any real depth or messages. It needed a little more heart or emotion and to be less complicated for the younger audience. You know, the story I felt was told or done in a way that's very muddled. And, um, you know, that mixed with what is a very odd premise anyway. I mean, you know, you've got a baby in a suit and all of that. To that to be added with this sort of the way that this story was told, which I thought was very muddled and had you overthinking. It sort of, I feel like if it was told slightly better, it would have been an overall, uh, you know, I think the experience would have been a much more enjoyable one. And, um, but yeah, it was just very, very muddled. And it's, when you really think about it, it's actually quite straightforward. But when you find yourself watching this movie for the first time, you just, as an adult, you really found yourself overthinking this movie and you really shouldn't have been. So yeah, I think take the kids to go and see it. I think the kids will really enjoy it. Um, if you're a fan of animation, and uh, in general, animation movies and all of that, then I do think it's worth checking it out. And it is, there's some okay humour in the film. It did make me chuckle in places, and it, that was I found that to be quite surprising. So yeah, I will be giving Boss Baby a C. So, uh... I found myself talking about that a hell of a lot more and actually delving deeper into that film a hell of a lot more than I actually thought I would. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am, um, I'm going to be going to see Going In Style in the next hour or two. Uh, so I will have a review up for that very soon. And also I think the Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious 8 is out. Uh, there's midnight showings tonight actually, but yeah, that is out this week as well So I'll have a review up for that soon as well. Uh, what did you guys think of Boss Baby? Has anyone seen it? Did you agree or disagree with anything I said? Please let me know below and if you like what you see and you share the same passion Then why not hit subscribe?